first plant here is Begonia nocomis. It was done by someone named Lee in California in 1976. Really a nice plant, been around for a while, and those are the ones you want because they've stood the test of time. You don't really have to do much to it. It's self-branching, beautiful pink flowers, a really nice cane. This is Begonia Satin Doll, hybridized by Walter Dworkin from New York. A lot of his uh, hybrids are named after uh, songs from the 50s and 60s. He, I told him I had this plan and he's excited. He wants me to send him a cutting because he lost his. That often happens. The next plant is Irene Nuss. I think everybody knows about Irene Nuss. This is her very first hybrid she did in 1971 and she really got lucky. I mean, it's uh, she hit it out of the park. It's really a nice plant. It's all over the country. I think everybody knows Irene. Very floriferous. This plant here, I'm uh, sorry to say I don't have a name for. It's a lovely plant, dark, dark leaves with spots on them and these beautiful large flowers. I'm researching this plant. Some people say it might be uh, black taffeta, but I'm not sure, so I'll keep researching it. This plant is a Brad Thompson hybrid from 2000, King Cartouche. Had this plant for five or six years and it puts on a show every year. Lovely plant, beautiful leaves and nice flowers. Very um, sturdy. This plant is Cracklin Rosy. You probably recognize it. This is another Walter Dworkin hybrid. Lovely leaves and you can always tell Cracklin Rosy by the leaves, the way they're kind of cupped. Nice plant, gets tall, nice hardy cane. This is another one I, that I have that I don't have a name for. I believe it might be orangeade, but I'm not sure. It looks like it has the uh, Philippine species in its parentage. It's a, a cane with pretty orange flowers, but I'll be researching that one, which I don't mind to do because it's fun to do research. This plant I bought with the label that said bat wings but I've seen pictures of bat wings in other uh, books and on the internet, and it doesn't look like this. So I'm gonna have to research this plant too, but it's a lovely plant, stays low, but has a lot of nice flowers. This plant I got on the sale table at the Westchester show last year, and it's got large spotted leaves, really nice, and kind of pinkish flowers, but there was no label on it, so I've labeled it Westchester Sale 2019, and I'll have to research that one too. But I really like it, it's a nice plant. This plant here was named after the actor Dennis Franz. If you remember him, I think he was on Hill Street Blues, some other police show. It was hybridized by uh, Greg Stitch in Florida. It's a nice plant, smaller leafed cane, but very dotty. I like the dotty plants. This dark cane here is called Lovely Louise, hybridized by Brad Thompson in 2011. It was named after Louise Korobkin, who's no longer with us, but she was a lovely lady, great grower. Everybody that knew her just loved her and her plants were always gorgeous. Lovely Louise, and she was. This is another Brad Thompson called Lady Slowly. It was uh, hybridized in 2003. Beautiful leaves, beautiful leaves, but the flowers uh, are spectacular. The color compared to the dark leaves with the yellow pistils in the middle, just gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Dangling Pearls. This is another Brad Thompson hybrid from 1990. Hasn't bloomed yet, but I'm assuming it's white flowers. 
This is my Yankee Doodle that I just moved here from the other day. This large, lovely girl is Nemechek, which is named after a woman, Shirley Nemechek. I'm sorry, yes, it's, it's Nemechek, which is Kesemann backwards. Her name was Shirley Kesemann, and this is called Nemechek. It's a bad, Brad Thompson hybrid from 1990. Gets very large, large, large leaves, but it always comes back year after year with a spectacular display. This plant here with the lovely leaves and the nice markings is Teen Angel, another Walter Dworkin hybrid named after a song. Beautiful leaves and the flowers are really spectacular too, but I love the markings on the leaves. This plant is Fountain of Youth. I haven't had this too long, but it's from Florida from 1997. Really pretty plant. I can tell it's going to be a big one. This is Begonia Fountain of Youth. It's a new one to me. I got a cutting from my friend Julie in Santa Barbara, but it's a lovely cane, large leaves, pink flowers. It's going to be a really nice, bigger plant. It's only about a year old right now. This is a thick stem, uh, Nancy Cummins. It's like in the same category as Star Frost. Dark, dark leaves. Nancy Cummins is um, a plant from 1981 out of Tennessee. Really like the dark leaves. This I'm showing you because this is whatever gard gardener, every gardener loves, an empty spot. I can't wait to fill it. This is the plant Summer Queen. And Summer Queen is a Brad Thompson hybrid, large leaves, large leaves. I told him, I, last time I was there shopping, I to, uh, told him I wanted a cane with large leaves and he gave me this one. Really large leaves, I like that plant. This plant is Lady Peas. Ruth Pease was a begonia legend. She was active in the Westchester Club and I believe many more clubs, but this was named after her by uh, Brad Thompson, Lady Pease. Brad Thompson did that, this plant in 1996. This plant is uh, an oldie but a goodie. This is Marguerite Decola was done in 1981. Usually blooms a little bit more than this. This year it's kind of shy to bloom, but you can see it's a very robust cane, strong stems, gets a little bit tall, but not overly tall. Nice. This plant is Talin Flaherty, named after Mike Flaherty's daughter, Talin, I believe by a hybridizer in Florida, I'm not sure which, but I love it because it has very thick leaves. I like thick leaves on begonias. It looked better last year, and this year it kind of struggled a little bit, but I, we have had some hot weather, but I just love this plant. I love the leaves. This is another Brad Tam Thompson Hybrid Black Gold from 1998. Huge flowers. The leaves are a very olive green, and in the sun they have an oily look. And it was one of his good plants, one of his best ones, I think, as the flowers are just spectacular black gold.